Jim Milady from Coldwell Banker, Milady Realtors up in the North Woods of Wisconsin. I sat in a webinar last week uh, from the Wisconsin Realtors Association, the WRA, and it featured uh, a speaker, Dr. Mark Epley, uh, from the Grass Camp Center at UW Madison. Uh, uh, Dr. Epley is a professor in real estate, and he's a smart, smart man. He brought up some excellent slides that I wish to share. This first slide looks at annual total housing starts in thousands, and you can see by that brown line that we're below uh, uh, the 61-year average 1.4 million starts. So we're short of housing or new start. This curve shows the undersupply and oversupply of housing. The undersupply currently is large and growing. One can see the oversupply peaked in 2007. Now we're undersupplied by about 4.9 million homes. Wisconsin saw a nice jump in home sales during 2020. Sales jumped to about 90,000 units per year. That's up quite a bit from the 40,000 units per year back in 2008. Wisconsin does have a little problem that we have a limited buildable lot supply uh, that limits how many new homes can be built. Uh, the average prior to 2007 was 14,369 lots. Uh, now it's down to 3,267 lots. This lack of lots and housing is lowering the home ownership rates in both the country and in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, about, we peaked at about 73% in 2003, and we're down to about 66% in 2020. Here's the mortgage rates. This is very good news. The 30-year rate uh, was all the way up to about 18% around 1980. It's down to about 2.7% on a 30-year mortgage. That's the it's historic low. This slide's quite important. This was the Federal Reserve from some projections. They predict a 4.2% increase in GDP in 2021, a 3.2% increase in 2022. Unemployment uh, dropping to 5.0% in 2021 and 4.2% in 2022. Great numbers. And inflation, they seem to project that it's going to remain in check. 1.8% in 2021 and 1.9% in 2022. And beyond that, about 2% in the, at least the, the, the foreseeable future, which is about five years from now. Now we'll look at the demographics. Millennials are now the largest buying group. Gen X is close by. Boomers are starting to fade as a buying group in terms of size. And here's some COVID projections, too. You can see the map from October of 2020. Wisconsin was one of the hot spots in the country. In fact, it was the reddest spot. We were the hottest place. Much better in January and getting even better in February. So that's very good news. Now a bit of silliness brought in by Dr. Epley. Uh, it's the ratio of bars to grocery stores in all the states. And Wisconsin, good or bad, we are very heavily favored in terms of bars to grocery stores, so perhaps food is not that important to us. So what conclusions can we draw from Dr. Epley's presentation? Uh, number one, we're short of lots. We're short of housing in the state of Wisconsin. That is for sure. Uh, baby boomers are starting to be less of an influence on the market, and Gen X, Gen Y, millennials are becoming much more of the market drivers. Um, other points, interest rates are at all-time lows. If there's ever a time to buy real estate or refinance, it couldn't be any better than it is right now. Uh, we also have way too many bars, not nearly enough uh, grocery stores in the state of Wisconsin. I think the big takeaway from the presentation is the very, very, very rosy projections uh, that the Federal Reserve has put out. Very low interest rates uh, uh, in the future. So if you're thinking that interest rates are going to start jumping up again, at least according to Dr. Epley, does not appear to be uh, the case. If you're expecting the economy to start tanking, the Federal Reserve would probably say, no, not so fast. We don't think it's going to start tanking. There, it doesn't mean that they're always 100% correct, but they're pretty rosy in terms of their GDP projections and their unemployment projections. So those that are saying that real estate's a bubble, it's going to be busting, I would probably argue that's not the case because we are in a vastly different space than we were in 2007, 2008 when we had way too much inventory. We had a lot of people on adjustable rate mortgages. Now we don't have hardly any inventory of housing, 
and everybody's on very, very low fixed rate uh, financing. So I would, I would argue that the, the case for the bubble uh, is, is over being oversold. Uh, I would probably say the prices are high and maybe you'll see a leveling off of prices possibly um, because we saw a huge significant spike up here, probably about 15% overall anyways. I don't uh, uh, see our prices falling anytime soon because the demand is just so high right now and people are learning to work from home. So those are the conclusions that Dr. Epley uh, uh, has shared uh, 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 with us anyways. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching.